What's up, YouTube? So, I've been talking uh, about telling everybody that wants RC bodies and components and wants me to build RCs for them. And I've always been saying that I build with my hand, scratch. I like custom build everything. It takes way too long. It would be too expensive. Well, we got a 3D printer now. So we got our... 3D modeling software, high-end computer, 3D scanner, and the printer. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do a little unboxing video, show you what we got. All right, excited to uh, come back and show you guys uh, some more of the things that we've got to open here that will be used to support the printer. So again, what I've got here is our laptop computer that we ordered. Um, going to be useful in running our... 3D modeling and drafting software will be running SolidWorks. Um, and then again, high-end, purpose-built, um, kind of a gaming-type setup, um, but also good for modeling, uh, drafting, uh, content creation. So we're going to kind of get into this here. I um, think we're able to find a good deal on this, but um, also excited for the capabilities that it's going to add to what we're trying to do here. So again, that's kind of a, is this the motor or something? That should be the power cable for the computer here. Fairly thick. That's how much power it needs. The, the it needs power. this 300 watts. And then the, uh, wow. I think it's got two or three cooling fans in it as well, so to keep it cool. Uh, but again, between computer, uh, power source, and then the, uh, the software there. And then I think Brandon's going to show you one other thing. All right, so this is, I'm just going to make it all happen. This is our 3D scanner. It's a Creality Lizard. Creality Lizard, yep. So, first time seeing it with you guys. Got a nice camera holding, holding case to it. Yeah. So I didn't see the uh, the turntable right. set up too. The truth? Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> still not there yet. Oh, so me and Austin introduced ourselves. The guy behind the camera is my brother, Josh. You can flip it around and show yourself if you want to. Nice to meet you guys. Doing uh, maintenance to the machines and all that, you know, and some more stuff. Learning as so we go. I think this will be a learning experience for all of us. Yep. But, uh, excited to get going. Flash drive. So this is the actual scanner. That's the scanner itself. Um, so turn. Right. So has it got fans too, probably, or speakers? Or, I don't know. Sorry, but that's what's actually the lenses and doing all of the nice. imaging. So this is the base, and then the top plate for the turntable and then I do believe that's got a cord and a bit of a control itself. It should be that joystick thing right? I think there should be. Oh, um, right here. Oh, is that what that? No. Also maybe it's driven through the software. I think that'll be yet some more of this that we're figuring out as we go. Yeah. So this is our scanner and we can bring this say i go to the store i i got this with me I scan anything like anywhere i see oh that's cool scan and oh we'll this, it. there's a battery in there should be a battery i believe yeah. and then a direct plug -in. i don't think it needs so but there's no that'll be oh a, there's there's the direct plug-in another one that will be confirming as well mm -hmm. so yeah i think if we've got some on-the-go capabilities we got the uh, static setup in our computer to run it and uh, I think now time for the uh, nice. the fun stuff, right? The main event, now the printer. Time for the big one. So, all right, now it's time to open up the printer. So we got a Bamboo X1 Carbon. X1C, yep. Supposedly one of the top of the line ones in the price range around um, out right now. Fast printer, multiple filament material. What did it say? 20,000 millimeters, millimeters per second. Yeah. Wow. So 
uh, print time down by between 20 and 40 percent. Right. So it's okay. the first time we're seeing it with y'all. It's like everything in this. How do you? How do we want to do this? I don't know. What I don't to know if the open up on the bottom. Lift straight up. Right. We might want to take one of the sides of the yeah. box out. We'll cut the sides up. That with the box cutter, maybe. Print is fine. Way. Yeah, yeah, we've easier. got a gap. Bringing this thing in through the, the mail and the delivery, it's deceptively heavy. So, like a kid at Christmas, just grip. I think we can get it out now. Filament down there. Everything on the bottom of it. Right. Like a couple of starter rolls of filament, I think there was. That green? So it's green, and then uh, we got see. flat green. One of those to be yellow and brown or something, right? No, I think these were just grab bag. One's black, one's oh. white, uh, both PLA. Yeah, so a couple more freebies that they threw in there. It's pretty, uh, it's the, rest. Just, the rest, I think, is garbage. You should be finding the. Tucked in there somewhere. It's uh, everything should be inside. I watched someone buy some video and most stuff was inside. I said it came with this little tiny handbook. That is a small quick start. Quick start. You know, nighttime reading. Oh, and it looks like taped on the top and front. Are you excited for this? Alright, so this is what the inside looks like. I think the, what do they call this the, system? Um, automatic filament uh, feed. Right. So again, that gives us the ability to run up to four spools, and then I think there's uh, add-ons or additional purchase options to add even above that four. You go up to what was it, 12 or 16? 16. 16, I think. And that brand new smell. That's brand new. The, uh, All right, so this must be up there. the control screen, maybe? Cut that open. Uh, As I will get that tape off, the front door is coming open. Yeah, this smells, that brand new smells strong. They smell it way over here. You still on? Yes, yeah, so we've got the control screen. Um, looks like just some miscellaneous hardware, the power cable, sort of mounting bracket, or this will see right here. Yeah. Oh, I should have. Quite a few goodies in here. Packed really good. Everything's yeah, real sturdy and tight in here. Very impressed by uh, bamboo and the, the shipment. The uh, oh, it's screwed down. I remember. I remember people saying that. Oh, inside it is. Yeah. What kind of tools do we need? We got the. Is that an no, I don't. So the first fire up. We want English. Sure do. Next. Connect to network. All right, let me get off. You may Hold on a second. That, uh, starting the uh, calibration procedure for, for the startup manual now. Should we get, can we open this while it's running? Just leave it open. You got the top of Gotta it get off, so I think just go cardboard off. Top and then through the front glass. It says eight percent homing tool head. Yeah, there you go. 
open it. I, I thought I would see I'm gonna get all this stuff out of here. Let's get that out from underneath. Got the stuff out from around the... And we'll put a little more grease on the, the ball screws also. Yeah, they came in some of the startup box. See, it's vibrating to see... I forget what they said why it vibrates to see how much your table moves or I don't know something. Okay, check a vibration. So looks like showing forty well, percent now. They did say that some of this was normal, so it's not loud. It will be. Just a little bit of vibration. Huh, okay. Yeah, it's getting noisy. Oh, we're getting here. Jeez. Well, as we're going through this, and we've been unboxing the uh, automated material system, so that'll be the next thing to start getting integrated. We got the uh, foot control uh, plugged in. Obviously helping us with this startup procedure. I think we're hoping to get a couple of test prints uh, going tonight. Yeah. <clears throat> Over here having to eat a hot pocket. Can you, Damn, can you print with the light? <clears throat> so what's it do? Oh, so what it's doing now is heating up. You see the temperature getting bigger. Will it stop if you open the door? <clears throat> Let's try. Only way to find out. It's just, it'll take longer to heat up. <clears throat> Alright, so it's starting to move. So it should and have a temperature turn. readout, I think, for the bed temperature and the nozzle temperature. You see a 104 and a 33. So it's extruding. And a I believe it's starting some material just so it, you know, gets rid of some waste maybe. And then it'll knock off a glob or something. Looking to get some uh, oh, yep, see it knocked it off. Oh, the filament's moving. It's gonna start pushing some out of there. So now it's reversing, I think oh. it's gonna slack back out. It did extrude some material out though. I don't know. Can't see it. Uh, is it going back in? No, it's coming back down on the hill. Hang on, what's it doing, man? It's backing up. Alright, I'm gonna pause it. Is it coming back out? Is it? Yeah, I don't know. Keeps going in forward in reverse. Oops, zoom in. So I'm gonna pause it for now, cut you back on when I see something. Alright, we finally got to produce something. It's printing where there's no hole. Let's take the other one over there where we put the loose things at the back. It's like not even printing on the bed. I damn all this stuff it's doing. Auto bed leveling, it says. This is we do all four corners. I don't know what it's doing here. Inspecting the first layer. Please wait. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. It needs to clean that tip again. Look at it. It is. Huh? Yeah, this thing is cool as fuck. Look how fast it's going. This is a high 
high speed. That's impressive. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've never printed I mean, anything that fast. Looking at it through the camera, it looks not blobby or anything. Like, it looks like it's vibrating. What the hell? What the damn? Look at my table. Oh, you ain't gonna be able to see that on the camera. I'd like to double check. I think there may be vibration dampening feet. So why does it vibrate it to like get the material seat more or something? Damn, that's fast, y'all. Okay, cut you back on when it's done. See, show you what it looks like. Okay, look at we got our spatula. It's really good. You know what I mainly care about? Look at the sides. For, Some paint will fill that in. Right. Super nice. Works really good, man. This thing is so fast. I didn't get. I don't know if I got a video of it. But we're about to find another thing off the computer that we downloaded to print, and cut you on when we start that. Yes, this thing goes. Oh. Oh, wow. Jeez, sinks <laughs> so fast. Definitely need a sturdier table. Let's see if you can see this. No, you can't see how much it's shaking. So, 66%. You can kind of see it shaking in the... Gonna get the print in something cool, sneak, just for fun. We printed this so we can get the prints off. I already feel like we can maybe thicken up the, I don't know what the hell, thicken up the tip of it because it dented already. I'll kick you on when it's done. See what it looks like. <laughs> Benchy. Benchy? So I did see just one little maybe line. Maybe it's supposed to be like that. That's the other side. Just a little bit right there in the middle. But other than that, for how fast it was yeah. going, that is impressive how it turned out. Look at the even the little nubs on this thing. Came out good. So that's in PLA. We can start to look at uh, ABS. We can start to look at a couple of other flexible filament materials. Might be interesting to print this in a couple couple materials. Yeah. But so far so good for the second one. We now have a scraper. We printed that. Let's see how good it works. You can also bend it a little bit too, put, pop it off. Pop yeah, so it, off how do we know where it's gonna print the, where it's gonna print the, what we want? Like it did it over here, we didn't even have glue. How do we know where to put the glue? So we've got to go into that bamboo software and select the XY position oh, okay. for the print itself. So I think that was auto-populated before oh, okay. us. We'll just have to pay attention to that on the next one. Yeah, this is nice. A more up close look. We'll it's almost like that line right there. 
It's supposed to be like that. He's got words back here? What? No, I don't I can't read it. I thought there was printing some sort of wording. But I'm I don't not know, sure this what is it was nice. supposed to be either. I don't know if it's bamboo, I don't know if it's uh Alright, cool. Here's a few things we've printed so far. You know, learning and using the stock parameters and everything. They come out really good. This dinosaur. We have to, they come in pieces and you gotta put it together. That's cool. Here's the Eiffel Tower. Really working with and modifying some of the supports on that tower, but happy with yeah. the way that turned out. So another one that we're experimenting with parameters and trying to fine tune some of this and our way through it. Not so, for the first 24 hours. If you could see the side wall, we're messing with the layer thickness. Do you see any lines at all? So I think we're kind of dialing in our quality surface finish pretty good. So you kind of see them here, but they're very, very fine. Front to back is the supports. So yep. show you that once that one's ready. We just made a little we're gonna 3D print so we're gonna get a file for that little trash receptacle of the the little nozzle cleaning blobs that come off, but yep. Here's the cube. A little bit of imperfection right there. But nothing I can't just knock off and, you know. But look at the layer thickness. Really good. Seems like at the top of the question mark all the way around. Nice.